Hey everyone, this is Angel Stationery and well, hello. This is the first time I'm actually revealing my face. Um, I'm doing this video out of an extraordinary occasion considering that I haven't posted much lately on my channel. And the reason is um, I've been a bit busy and I, I was having a few um, health issues um, as well as I, ha I was having a hard time and for that matter i wanted to make this video uh sort of explain what has been going on lately this last month as i haven't posted much um don't worry about the channel i'm gonna keep posting i'm actually going to get back to that uh pretty much soon if not around the, in a few maybe in a few more days um as i said uh this is an extraordinary video i thought that considering that uh, I have a fair amount of subscribers and a lot of enthusiasts on this channel um, it was important for me to address this for you so you know that the channel is gonna keep going strong and I also wanted to well finally reveal myself um, you've been following my channel uh, for a few years you'll notice that at first my channel just had a picture of me that I draw of myself when I was beardless and I drew that with some Derwent pastels and then I believe it was I don't know if it was last year or beginning this year I finally posted a photo of me uh, that's a photo of me from last year actually I took that photo on on my channel the one that appears on my channel is actually now a year ago exactly that photo I was actually a bit more fatter back then and um, and well, so I wanted to show myself so you can, well, I wanted to address this, but also uh, reveal myself for, for this occasion and uh, explain well what has been going on with me, what's the purpose and reason of this channel. And also, um, uh, I also wanted to make it a different video and in this maybe also make an experiment and by this uh, now revealing myself. Uh, just to see like what happens because that's how basically that channel started uh, I began the channel out of my curiosity and also enthusiasm for stationary and writing instruments um, just like many of you I like to also look around YouTube and see reviews or see photos um, my channel is fairly modest I don't know that much on um, editing and it's something I should be working on as well as Patreon I'm still not very familiar, uh, but I'll eventually uh, have it work, but uh, for now I'm fairly practical, I try to just shoot my reviews on one single shot or recording and just post it, that's it, fairly simple, uh, and they're not that long, I don't think no, not more than 10 minutes maybe at the most, except for a few occasions that I have made like two or three parts because they were pretty long. Um, Again, as I was saying, how who is senior stationery? Well, just like many of you, I'm just fairly a, a, an enthusiast or someone who just happens to enjoy pretty much a lot uh, writing and sometimes sketching and collecting writing instruments of many kinds, where it be lead holders, uh, ball points, roller balls, um, sometimes uh, fountain pens, pencils and anything that's writing um, so how did this began well I guess since I was uh, since I was in in school I really one of the thrills of school was uh, going back to school and using new um, school supplies or buying them so that was one of those little pleasures that I had when I was a kid and I enjoy um, I really liked a lot the smell of uh, stationery shops um, a neighborhood uh, shops that sold pencils or school material so for me that's just as, as thrilling or nice as the smell of libraries the smell of old paper uh, in that same manner that's how I enjoy the smell of stationery ink um, wood from pencils the smell of in general of supplies you know the smell of paint of colors of all of that and um, well, I guess some of my earliest memories is seeing um, sometimes some people on pockets seeing cross-century pens 
as well as Parker Pence from their distinctive arrow clip. Also, one of also my earliest memories is seeing the Lamy Safari with its di distinctive design um, and colorful uh, tones. That, I think that's the pen that really got me into this, uh, the Lamy Safari, I could say that. It's playful and yet useful design. I thought it was like really something really extraordinary or very nice. So I guess that's the one that got me hooked on this. And I began actually this hobby collecting Lamy and as I, you probably have seen some of my reviews, uh, I've done some Lamy, uh, my Lamy collection, I've shown you some of them. So that's how I got, how I, I, I got hooked on that. So, so that's um, kind of who I am as Senior Stationery and how I began this channel. I began this channel because I, um, I, I, I was really having a large uh, collection but I felt like I, I should have I should share it with someone or display because some pieces were very rare and really hard to get, and I thought that just as I look around and look for reviews on rare items, I thought it would be nice to also share with you. So that's how I began the channel, and interestingly, I did uh, start getting a lot of views, a lot of comments and questions, and I really liked that. So I guess that can kind of got me hooked to keep posting more videos. Uh, again, this is pretty much just a hobby, not really something I, I have monetized yet. Hopefully I would like to eventually, but um, I'm working on that. I also need to improve my, as I said, my editing skills, so, but eventually I will get better on that. Um, so yes, that's how the, the channel began. Um, that's me. Uh, what's, with, what's up with me lately? As I said, uh, I was having some health issues. Um, I unfortunately, due to the pandemic last year, I lost my two jobs, so that's kind of has taken a toll on me emotionally and physically. I lost weight, so in a way, it's not has it hasn't been all that bad. I mean, I lost like around twenty kilos, between fifteen and twenty kilos. Um, I'm actually, for that matter, wearing one of my favorite shirts. This shirt I have with it like around ten or eleven years now. I really like it because it represents a lot of me. I really like a lot of uh, multicolor pattern shirts. And I stopped using this shirt because I got overweight. And now I can wear it again, so I'm happy for that. And I also, that's why I wanted to wear it for this occasion, to present myself on, on this video. And, um, oh, and of course, Mr. Legoman is also here. He wanted also to say hi to you. He's been missing you a lot. And he eventually is gonna keep posting more videos and sharing with us a lot of his collection. So don't worry about that. He's still around and he'll keep being around here. But he wanted to say hi. So just to let you know that he's also present here. He's always here with us. So um, as I said, um, I had some health issues. I, I had some hair loss. I lost weight, but the weight loss what was, is pretty good, I guess. Um, I feel better, I'm thinner, I look a bit better. I also had a bandage on my right arm, but not anymore. That was kind of making it complicated for me to post videos and record myself. So that's why I had to stop uh, due to my health reasons. But I, I'm doing much better now, so that's why I will resume doing more videos. Um, and again, as I said, it's been kind of hard um, because of the unemployment. I'm still working on that. I'm on a few processes to see if I can eventually begin working by around October. Um, but again, that's the main reason why I haven't been posted videos. Um, those of you or anyone watching, if you're also unemployed or having a hard time, um, my thoughts and prayers with you. I know it's been hard and just stay strong. Um, I'm sending you positive vibes and happy thoughts. Um, and I hope we will eventually uh, recover from this. Also, stay healthy, uh, be very careful. Uh, thank God I haven't had any COVID. My health reasons were other, of other matter, not uh, COVID related, thank God. But, um, but still, it, it kind of has taken me a toll emotionally and that's why I hadn't posted, besides for the fact that it was kind of getting complicated with my bandage on my right arm. But now I'm, I'm, that's why I'm making this video because I'm just letting you know that I'm okay now and I will be resuming uh, videos. So 
um, stay tuned for that stay tuned as I will be posting or resume my videos also I also wanted to make this video to tell you a little bit more about myself or some basics as a senior stationary uh, if it could be of any help or interest of you or maybe you think similarly as me um, being a pen enthusiast I obviously when I go out on errands whether going to for groceries or just going out or any daily errands some of the things that I always carry with myself or you will expect is basically always a pen and I also have lately or from maybe at least five or six years from now I, I use a jotter in this case this is a leather jotter as you can see I keep a note card and I keep a white note cards and write down whether a list thoughts uh, things to do this one as you can see has corners so it keeps my uh, my notes here and I have the spare ones here stored so I really enjoy um, always carrying this and writing anything ideas right now I'm carrying this is my pen this is a Prodeer Swiss pen uh, Prodeer is a Swiss uh, a Swiss um, publicity pen maker and I bought this one which has swatch which I enjoy also swatch watches so it's a win-win it's a publicity pen from swatch but also a Swiss pen by, made by Prodeer this is a DS4 or DS8 I believe which has now been discontinued or modified this is the earlier cylindrical one as you can see has a rigid clip and regular button clicker as a clicking sound but I changed the refill for a one of my favorites which is uh, inox chrome medium size ink I really like the blue tone of this one because this is like the earlier blue color from the 1980s to 90s then eventually ink became more darker blue or more purplish but this is true blue so I really enjoy this a lot oh as I was saying here I'm wearing a swatch actually so this is the one that I'm using lately and I again I always go out with my jar and a pen in this case I'm using this one sometimes I'm carrying a fancier pen but this is like my cheap daily pen I also like to always carry a handkerchief or that's me well m mostly because here it's a lot of heat and, and, and I keep uh, sweating a lot and it's always very useful to have a hanky so I always carry one this I got this one lately which has a nice blue pattern but uh, I try to like to look for ones that have patterns but it's not so easy it's more common to just find white ones but I'll use any uh, white or pattern ones uh, but I like they're very useful always useful to carry so this is also very typical of me also something that I do is always on the search for new pen cases I found this one this is a hard case and it used to be if you see by the shape this one used to be actually a case for a um, insulin pen for diabetics so I was wandering around on a flea shop and found this one this pen which was very cheap I have the pen but I really don't use it or I don't uh, need uh, insulin but I really like the case the case is really nice rigid it had a Lily logo which I just cut it off and it's nicely rigid it kind of brings to mind a lot of the moleskin cases so I'm always on the search and sometimes apply uh, other cases for my pens and also a good idea for pen cases or pencil pencil cases are using airline amenity kits I really like collecting those and using them sometimes as my pen case or stationary cases but again as I said this is a recent find and I just wanted to say that this is very typical of me or of senior stationery is recycling and um, finding always new cases I'm using actually this case for my Hugo Boss pen this is my well this is my fancy pen lately this uh, Hugo Boss pen it's a uh, it's a ballpoint I cannot remember right now the name it's fairly simple it's just like a light gray lacquer with chrome accents and here on the top has very discreet has embossed Hugo Boss and that's it fairly springy clip 
uh, twist mechanism it's fairly discreet design really nice um, it's uh, made in China as all Hugo Boss uh, stationary products and the refill uses the typical Parker type but this one is uh, Hugo Boss as you can see this is Hugo Boss and it's called Softline and they're made in Germany probably by uh, usually it's made by Schmidt one of the bigger uh, refill makers so again um, this is this is the one that I've been using kind of lately and I'm using it on this case so this is part of me I'm always switching constantly switching uh, pens I don't know if you also do that very often you just cannot hold on to one pen you always need to keep changing them sometimes you start the day with one pen later at noon you change you change or switch and by the evening you also have already changed them so I just wanted to share a little bit about myself how I got into this hobby uh, to let to for you to get to know a little bit more about myself also um, I want to make this opportunity also to thank you for following and subscribing to the channel as I said I will be posting more videos just be patient bear with me I have a lot of material don't worry about that there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna make reviews and I'm looking forward to your comments and, and hearing from you as well I read all comments I answer all of them um, thank goodness there's not much spam so it's always nice to actually listen and hear from people I also want to send a shout out to my friends those who have written directly to uh, my email I have the personal email senorstationary at gmail.com if you want to drop a line or say hi or share any experiences I'll be more than glad to listen and write back um, I want to especially uh, thank uh, uh, my friends or those who have written me and share me stuff uh, I want to pay um, especially thank my friend Mariano from Argentina from um, Rosario Argentina who sent me interesting stuff and I hopefully will be making reviews of that those stuff that he sent me also to my dear friend from UK Shandon uh, to whom I'm owing him I'm still owing him to send him a pen because uh, he moved away so I need Shandon if you look at this please send me your, your new address so I can send you the pen um, also to um, my friend I believe it was Ria Ria from Kansas thank you Ria uh, thank you for writing also um, what am I missing um, ah, I forgot your name sorry um, Canadian friend that you wrote me uh, early you were probably the first person who wrote me uh, right now I, can, I forgot completely your name but I just want to say shout out hope you're still watching the channel and also anyone who just wants to drop down a line or your comments are very very well welcome and I try to answer as soon as possible uh, again thanks to all the watchers all the enthusiasts and um, again I just wanted to for this time present myself I hope uh, this video is already kind of a little bit long this is the English one I will also be posting in Spanish uh, for my Spanish speaking fans so thanks again again for your support thank you for supporting my channel for for your views for your likes for your comments they are very well uh, received and again i will be posting more videos again this is not a goodbye this is just a um, i'm coming back and thank you for bearing with me and staying here with me and again i know the pandemic has been a little bit complicated for for many of us and again my thoughts and hopefully uh, good vibes positive vibes for everyone uh, those who are having a hard time or going through a rough time um, my solidarity with you and my thoughts and prayers are also with you and again um, feel free to write or just say hi or um, or commenting on any of the videos I, I really enjoy that a lot and again as I said I, I try to answer as much as possible um, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more to come See you soon. Bye-bye.